we are given the next exercise where we know that x plus y equals 1 and x squared plus y squared equals 2 and we are being asked to get the value of x cubed plus y cubed. Now this exercise is a little bit tricky. It is a system of equations uh, with two unknowns, however uh, they are not linear. So, uh, so there is going to be a couple of tricks in order to find out the solution. Now, uh, we can work with the substitution. We can use the first equation in order to get one of the values and substitute it on the second one. Uh, this is pretty much just to avoid having a square root early on. So let's do that. So we get that uh, from the first equation that y equals uh, 1 minus x. And now we can plug in that into the second equation. And that gives us that x squared plus 1 minus x squared, everything, is going to be equal to 2. And now we can expand the left side of this equation. So we are going to be getting uh, x squared plus 1 minus 2x uh, plus x squared. Uh, this is equal to 2, again, from the uh, former equation. And we can uh, reduce terms. Uh, this is a a quadratic equation so we can use the general formula in order to solve it. Well first let's get to the general expression. So we are going to get that uh, 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0 uh, 2 plus minus the square root of uh, 4 plus in this case we have 4 times 2 and, and times minus 1 uh, over 4 and we can reduce this and uh, this is going to give us uh, 2 plus minus uh, the square root of 12 and we can uh, have this as 4 times 3 and this again is over 4. Uh, we can extract that too. And so this is going to simplify as 2 plus minus uh, 2 square root of 3 over 4. And now we can simplify a 2. So uh, this is going to be equal to 1 plus minus the square root of 3 over 2. And so, uh, this is the value of x. However, we are uh, far from finished. Uh, we want to get uh, the value of x cubed uh, plus y cubed. So now, let's get the value of y. Uh, we can use our expression that I had before, the y equals 1 minus x. So y is going to be equal to 1 minus the 1 uh, plus minus the square root of 3 uh, over 2. And now we can uh, do fraction uh, subtraction. And we are going to get 2 minus 1 uh, uh, minus plus the square root of 3 over 2 and now we can simplify once again uh, in order to get 1 uh, minus plus the square root of 3 over 2. Now again we aren't done yet. Uh, we want to get a x cubed plus y cube. So in order to do that, now we need to cube x and to cube y. And 
In order to do this, it comes in handy to remember one uh, a common product that says the next statement that if we have uh, two numbers a plus b or plus minus in this case and if we raise them to the cube uh, the product is going to be a cube a plus minus uh, 3 times a squared uh, times b uh, plus 3ab uh, squared uh, plus minus a b cubed and okay, this is fine, this is fine. Now we can use this in order to get the, the full answer. So I'm just going to, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, we have everything uh, we will need for the final step. So I'm just going to change colors right now <laughs> because this is pretty much the final part. So we are going to have x cubed uh, plus y cube and we can uh, substitute their values now a uh, good trick in here in order to simplify things uh, quickly uh, we can uh, distribute the power on the numerator and denominator so we are going to get uh, 1 8 and okay uh, we remember to plug in the corresponding values and um, as I said uh, here comes in handy because we can factor 1 8 out of this expression and we are pretty much ready in order to start uh, cubing the entire expression so okay uh, we cube x so we start with 1 uh, plus minus in this case and uh, we are going to be having uh, a tree a, a is one again so a one square is one and we are going to have a square root of three and uh, later on we are going to have a plus again three uh, now a times b but b is a square root of three so we are going to have uh, the square root of three squared so this is going to be times three and okay uh, we move on to the last term and the last term is going to be uh, a b cubed and in this case uh, we have plus minus b cubed and okay uh, I'm going to write it a little bit complete so just to not avoid the steps for all of you uh, so here we are going to have uh, the square root of 3 cubed and uh, we are going to uh, uh, took a careful look into that one but maybe we are not going to uh, need to do a lot about that but let's see and uh, we cube y so we are now going to have plus one and um, minus plus and we are just interchanging signs and in this case we have three square root of three plus uh, always plus um, uh, again 3 and now we square b which in this case is again uh, a square root of 3 and again we are interchanging signs so minus plus and again we are pretty much going to have the square root of 3 a uh, cubed so uh, some nice things are going to happen continue a little bit I'm going to scroll down because we no longer need uh, the information about x and y so okay we have a uh, 1 over 8 and now we can uh, simplify a couple of things uh, first of all uh, we see that we have a plus minus uh, 3 square root of 3 and we have a minus plus 3 square root of 3 in both cases they are going to cancel out and we also have a plus minus a cube square root of 3 and a minus plus cube square root of 3 so again it is going to cancel out um, so uh, having said that uh, we just uh, plug in the remaining uh, values and we just have uh, this expression which uh, we have uh, duplicated the 1 and the 3 times 3 so uh, we can cancel a 2 uh, fast from this expression and the denominator so in this case uh, as it was saying so we can cancel the, uh, the, the 
the duplicated expressions with a 2 from the bottom and we have that 8 is 2 times 4 so we can simplify that into a 4 and uh, we can solve the remaining expression uh, we get uh, 10 over 4 which can be simplified uh, both of them have halves and the solution is going to end up being 5 halves uh, this is our answer now just a big comment about this procedure um, we used a quadratic equation and that gave us a, a pair of answers and that gives a very bad look to the solution it is almost an eyesore it, it just turns out that there is easier way to solve this problem uh, however uh, we are going to try that other solution uh, in a following video uh, I'll let you try to solve this in a more elegant way uh, on your own uh, there is no need to uh, get the values of x or y independently actually we can just uh, start with the initial values and just uh, get the expression x cubed plus y cubed uh, but I'll let you to try it out however what well, this uh, systematic way of solving the equation is always valid and in principle any middle school kid could just solve it it with enough time and enough patience but okay uh, this would be it for this video uh, let me know if you like it uh, or also if you want to leave any other comments all of that is welcome and have a good day